And hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be diving into the latest iOS 18 beta 6 update, but not everything is smooth sailing. While Apple has packed this update with some exciting features, it's also introduced a few pesky bugs that are causing some headaches for beta testers. From unexpected crashes and battery drain to glitches with certain apps and features, we're going to be breaking down the most common issues people are experiencing with this beta version. And if you're testing out iOS 18 beta 6 or just curious about the latest bugs, stick around as we explore what's going on and how to possibly work around these issues. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we will be talking about all of the bugs introduced with iOS 18 beta 6 and how to potentially fix issues with your device came with the beta. If you want to find out about the bugs then stick around as you don't have to do anything else but if you just want to find out how to potentially fix these bugs then go to the timestamp that you will find on your screen right now. Please make sure to subscribe because there's so much more content coming very soon. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right on. Part 1 every bug introduced with iOS 18 beta 6. Like with any form of beta software, it will be buggy because the software is still being tested. So we have to be considerate of that just being a fact of how it all is. So here's going to be every bug that's been reported that we could find. Frequent device restarts. Many users report their iPhones restarting frequently, sometimes within minutes of use. This bug is especially frustrating as it disrupts the overall usability of the device. Face ID issues. Some users are experiencing problems with Face ID where it either fails to recognize the user or doesn't work at all. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity problems. There are going to be connectivity issues with both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth where connections drop frequently or fail to establish properly. Shortcuts app malfunctions. The shortcuts app isn't functioning correctly with some shortcuts failing to execute as expected, causing frustration for users who rely on automation. Math notes feature glitch. The new math notes feature in the notes app has been reported to malfunction with the app failing to solve simple math problems as intended. Satellite messaging issues. Satellite messaging, a feature for iPhone 14 and later, is not displaying or sending messages properly, which could be critical in situations where users rely on this feature outside of cellular coverage. Music haptics not working. The music haptics feature, which provides tactile feedback while playing music, is not working properly. This issue is further compounded by the feature not appearing in the settings menu for some users. Mail app problems. The mail app is experiencing issues where it gets stuck on connecting or repeatedly ask for passwords, preventing users from accessing their emails efficiently. Now, this is pretty much everything I've come across so far. So let's talk about a potential fix for your device if you're experiencing these bugs. Part two, here's a way for you to fix your iPhone if iOS 18 beta 6 is too buggy. Wondershare Dr. Phone offers a comprehensive suite of tools for managing and maintaining mobile devices, making it an invaluable resource for users. Among its many features are data recovery, phone backup, data transfer and system repair. The system repair module in particular stands out for its ability to address severe issues that users may encounter, such as those introduced by the iOS 18 beta 6 update. This module can resolve common iOS problems like system crashes, device bricking, and connectivity issues. By providing a straightforward user-friendly interface, it allows users to revert their devices to a stable state without data loss or the need for technical expertise of any kind. This makes Wondershare Dr. Phone an essential tool for anyone dealing with the unpredictability of beta software or other critical system malfunctions. With that said, let's try to explore the steps to fixing these issues through this software. Granted, these fixes won't actually fix the beta and magically make it more stable. It will just fix your device if it happens to get stuck somewhere with no way out, such as the issues that we mentioned above. Essentially, this is done by reinstalling the beta, which this software will do very easily for you and should refresh the beta for you as well. So to free your device and bring it back to your initial screen, hopefully without the most device breaking bugs, this will be the best solution available to us. So just follow the steps coming right up. So please make sure to visit the Wondershare Dr. Phone website by clicking on the link in the description. Download the software and install it on your computer. Open the Dr. Phone application and then click on the toolbox tab and choose the system repair option from the main interface. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. Ensure that the device is detected by Dr. Phone. Dr. Phone offers two modes, standard mode, 
which fixes common issues with both data loss and advanced mode, which resolves more severe issues but may result in data loss. So select the mode that best suits your needs. But in this case, we only need to select standard repair in order to fix many of the more severe issues caused by iOS 18 beta 6, while still being able to retain all of your data. So Dr. Phone will detect your device model and display the available firmware versions. Choose the appropriate firmware and click download to obtain the firmware package. Ideally, you would want to select the latest one, which will be the one shown on top. Or if you only see one available for your device, click on the one shown for you. Once the firmware is downloaded, click fix now to begin the repair process. Dr. Phone will start installing the new firmware on your device. The repair process may take some time. Please ensure that your device remains connected to your computer and do not interrupt the process. After the repair process is finished, your device will restart and you should see that the issues have been resolved. If you selected advanced mode, you might need to restore your data from a backup. Now, thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. Let us know in the comments if this solution worked for you and if it hasn't, then tell us which phone breaking bugs you've been encountering and include any of your questions down below as well. Like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on when a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.